What will Hit's role be in the upcoming Tournament of Power? What's going on, Dragon Ball fans? Welcome back to another Dragon Ball Super Discussion video, where today I am joined by three very special guests on this video, that being Super Saiyan Paul, Devil Artemis, and of course, Emish is live, as we're going to be discussing and sharing our thoughts as to what we believe is going to happen with Hit in the Tournament of Power. Now, again, if your comments differ than ours, if you guys have different opinions, be sure to go on ahead and let us know down below as to what you guys believe. Now, boys, Hit is going to be one of the very prominent roles being showcased in this tournament as we saw during the Universe 6 versus Universe 7 showdown. But I wanted to ask you guys, and I want to start with Emish's Live, I wanted to get your take on Hit and seeing what we saw during the Universe 6 versus Universe 7 battle, how Hit was able to time skip Kaioken times 10 Goku during the time, how he was able to improve so much. I wanted to ask you, where is it that you see Hit during this tournament, and how effective do you believe he is going to be if his time skip technique is ineffective during this battle? Because we saw how effective it was against Goku when he was first introduced to kill him during that little mini sode, and of course, you know, prior to that during the Universe 6 battle. If time skip wasn't implemented, and of course, if he wasn't able to use the time skip technique during this battle, how effective do you think he would be? knowing that he can't use that move during this battle. That's crazy to think that they would actually allow for Hit not to be able to use a technique like that, but I think the best counter to that um, scenario would be they would have to give Hit something else because he's always known for you know improving himself and stuff like that. Right. So aside from the most recent technique that we saw in music against Goku, uh, if the time skip is something that's not going to be utilized, then by I would say it's safe to bet that they're probably going to give him some new um different type of technique that would allow him to just thrash everybody because there's two there's two ways we could look at it we could say well time skip in this kind of setting is just kind of overpowered right right, right. if if he's just able to just run around just smashing people up and just you know just one shotting them and then having like let's say Botamo or Magetta just throwing them off the ring i could see that being utilized right uh but if that weren't the case then i would say it's safe to assume that he just developed something new what it is exactly i don't know but I just don't see them handicapping him to that extent. I just don't see that happening. I think with someone like Hit, um, he's definitely someone who is pleasurable to watch. A lot of people of course, enjoy yeah, watching yeah. what he can do. So I just see him, uh, and in terms of animating what he can do, it's very easy. You could just basically freeze the frames, have him just one-shot people, they, they fall down, and someone stronger, let, let's say, for example, Kali or one of the Saiyans or anybody on the team practically, just throws him off the ring. That's it. That's right, all you have right. to do. But let's and say, that for would example, be one, two, three. I was gonna say let's let's say for example, if since we're in this place that's you know rid of void, uh, there's no space nor time, uh, and, and assuming that since you know pockets of time can't exist during that you know tournament, let's say for example, if if Hit is unable to access that technique in trying right. to freeze time, do you still see him as being effective during this battle as he Definitely. would if he had the time yeah. skip? For sure, for sure. He's definitely he's already he's thousand percent. He's already being portrayed and he's gonna continue to be portrayed this way, even though we haven't seen much from him. He's going to be he's expected to come to this tournament with something to provide us in terms of not just carrying his team, but um in terms of us enjoying it as fans. They I don't think they're just not that you know, they're not stupid enough to make hit just nerf him to the ground like that. It's right. bad enough that he can't kill. So why take why take away a technique from him? And I, and I also think that this concept of of time being taken of not being valid in the world of void it's not it, i think hits technique doesn't is not dependent on the actual time like minutes or hours or years or stuff like that right it's just him freezing an area a certain radius around him because he's not literally freezing everything around him no he's not he's no. just it's a it's a certain radius right so i don't think i highly doubt that they're not gonna allow time skip to be the case but if it, if that is the case uh he's still insanely fast there's no denying his speed to begin with uh, and the fact that he can literally just come up to you and just hit you at certain points of the body and just drop you down, right. it still makes him a threat. So like pressure I points. How, I, okay, I, I would agree. I mean, to me, I think that serving this, I don't think he would be as effective uh, unless he has the time skip because we saw how he proved up against Vegeta when he used it. He was attacking his pressure points, and he's a very strategic person because he's an assassin. But I want to ask you, Paul. <laughs> Paul, what are your thoughts on hit and... If the, if the idea comes about to where the time skip technique is ineffective, do you think he would still be as credible, you know, as a fighter as he would be with time skip tech, with the overall time skip technique under his disposal um, in this tournament? Because let's say, for example, if he's not able to use the technique, where do you see him go from there? Well, since killing is marked out for this tournament, correct? Yeah. 
I, he's still at a handicap, and that was the reason why Goku wanted him to have that assassination contract on himself. So by default, Hit is kind of nerfed. And if he was nerfed, he would have taken all of the spotlight. But I think the reason why they're doing this is so that way you can see some of the other characters that they're bringing in here. Because there's so many universes, so many characters. I think Hit already had his time in the spotlight. I think it's time really? to give it to, to more people. I think that's the only reason they kind of outlawed killing. Because if you allowed killing, don't you think Hit would win this by default? I, I well yeah I mean I remember if you if you go back during the universe six battle when Goku spoke to the Kaioshin even the Kaioshin spoke among themselves and saying that Hit's real power lies within his killing abilities I think that to an extent you're right because if killing was allowed I think this would be an, a, a completely different story because you're putting an assassin among you know regular base fighters and it's just like an assassin is trained to kill so uh, to a degree I, I can see that but do you think that he would still be as effective as he would without it in terms of like improvement because with time skip we saw how much he was able to improve against Kaioken times 10 Goku so without it do you think he would still be the same or no depending on who he gets matched up against during the fight I mean if it's anybody besides Goku I'm not sure maybe Vegeta might go for him and he might improve off of that if Vegeta figured out ways to combat his um abilities and stuff like that however I'm not sure it's going to be as drastic as when he fought Goku because everybody else is going to be aiming for Goku and we don't know who exactly is going to take the stage with the 1v1 on it with him unless everybody's going to jump him all at once but I don't think Hit's going to take like a major portion of this. I just think he's going to have like a moment and that's it. They're going to put the spotlight to somebody else. Okay, I mean, I, I, I agree when you say that he's been nerfed to a degree because of the whole killing method. But Artemis, uh, where do you stand in this? Do you, see, do you still see Hit being as effective without time skip? Or do you think that with time skip, it makes him that much more deadly? Um, well, I mean, with time skip, Hit is going to be a problem. If anything, I don't think that they're going to take it away, to be honest. Um, really? No, I don't think so. Okay. We've, we've seen something new from Hit, uh, you know, the last time that, that he showed up. I feel like we're going to see new things from several different people in the arc. I think Hit is going to be able to use his time skip. Okay. Um, if anything, he might be able to use it longer. Um, so we, we, we can only imagine what he's going to be capable of then. But I want to get to actually Hit being an assassin. Uh, you know, he, he, he's an assassin, so he deals with different types of clients. He encounters different kinds of people. Um, he might not be able to kill, but he can definitely immobilize you. He he'll probably know what what pressure points to strike. Right. Hit is, is you know he's a very intelligent individual. So I still feel like even though Hit cannot kill, he is more than capable of kicking people's ass because he has the skill. He's an assassin. Yeah. It's not just about the killing. You need the skill to pull off the kill. <laughs> No. So, so uh, yeah, brand uh, that. Uh, among such a setting like this, he is going to be fighting people stronger than how we fought Goku during that time. That being uh, some people like Topo, people like Jiren. So among among all of these fighters in the tournament, in your opinions, all of you, like, do you see Hit really truly going as far as we all assume that he might? Or based on what some of the community members have spoke about, some people really think that Vegeta might be the one to get his, you know, revenge on having to embarrass him during the Universe 6 battle. We might see Vegeta get some shine in throwing out Hit, because I've seen certain comments on my videos where some people are just like, well, wouldn't it make more sense to give Gohan some shine until Hit throws out Gohan, and then Vegeta throws out Hit, as opposed to then we see Jiren throw out Vegeta, and then we have Goku and Jiren collide finally. I mean, it's going to be a mix and match, but even with all those fighters being present, do you guys think that Hit does have the ability to survive till the very end if anything win based on what you guys even said on his abilities alone what do you guys think i want to start with emish um do i see him winning the tournament no because that's just the way the impression that they're giving us is that it's going to be about universe 7 and universe 11. that's, that's going to be impression. the highlight right that's what the, it appears to be the impression maybe even universe 6 at most i would say um, because Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball has always been about the Saiyan concept of, yeah, of yeah. the Saiyans, telling the story about the Saiyans and their development. So I don't. And as far as how often we see Hit, I feel like we only see Hit if it has anything to do with Universe Six, and that's it. But we don't. I don't think um, if the fans uh, demanded to see him more, I don't think we've seen enough from him. So the only time we see him is if he's going to kill somebody or if he's going to be a major part in a fight, and then he always shows up with something new, which is he's just one of those characters that you just bring out. You know, you just pull out of your sleeve and say, ha, okay, I got something right. new for you guys, something fresh. It's the same character, but he always brings something new to the uh, to the table. So it's good if people want to see something new from the same old character. I think from that perspective, it's great. Do I see him going far in the tournament? Yes. Do I, do I think that Vegeta could take him out at this point? I would like to see that. 
Okay. I would personally be satisfied with that. Do I feel like Vegeta has this vendetta against Hit? No, absolutely not. I feel like he's just more concerned with Kakarot at, at this point, with Goku at of this course, point, yeah. and just and just winning in general. Um, I think that's his prior, his prior, his biggest priority here is just to win in general. I don't think he has a certain grudge against anybody. I don't see that happening. Um, but as far as Hit's advancement in the tournament, I just hope they give him the respect that a lot of us as the fans feels that he deserves i don't want to see him get thrown out for anything stupid that might um, be a swerve actually i mean they might swerve us could. and he might be yeah. eliminated or type early you know it could i agree with you but it's it's all up in the air at the end of the day we still have a lot to expect from khalif lakale universe 7 as a whole gohan 17 and all these other universes we still have something to look forward to so even if hit does get thrown out let's say even halfway into the match it wouldn't be so bad as long as they give people what they want so if hit leaves early as long as he has the time skip I don't see him leaving early, but let's say um, theoretical list that he just did happen to just get knocked out some way. Yeah, yeah. It would be fine because we got enough from Hit at this point. I don't think – I honestly don't feel like Hit is is even in the top priority as far as, far as uh, who we want to see fight because we've seen so much from him as, as it is. The only – the thing that he has to offer as far as what makes him a threat is that he's always improving. Always, And yeah. we know that he always improves. So I think that's the point. Um we're going to have to just wait and see. But I see him doing a pretty good job. I don't see him getting thrown out for anything uh, stupid. Paul, what do you think? Do you see him actually going far? Or do you think, as Emish said, he might be halfway thrown out by somebody unexpected? Because, again, we've seen Ultimate Gohan increase in power a lot. People want to see him fight Hit. Because that was that was an encounter that never happened before. Even Possibly even Golden Frieza. So where do you see Hit stand in all this? Do you think that he's he has the potential to go far? Or are they going to swerve us and are they going to throw him out early? What do you think? Well, since he doesn't have the ability to kill anybody, it would make sense for one of the Saiyans, either Gohan or Vegeta, to use him as like a way of showing how far they've really come. Because I don't really see it being um, as the fact of Goku taking him out. I don't think Goku's going to be the one to defeat him in this tournament. I think if they give it to somebody else, it'll show you how far their training has come. Right. And now that they can match up to this guy who's always improving and how far they've come since the Champa tournament. So... I think either Gohan or Vegeta might take him out, if not anybody else from another universe. And it's going to show you that Vegeta, hopefully it's Vegeta, I'm hoping it is, um, that he's catching up slowly but surely. Because that moment when Goku went Kaioken times 10, it showed you that there's a bridge between him and Goku. And I think it's time for Vegeta to get like maybe another power up or just show that he's getting stronger and that bridge isn't getting too far apart, you know? I mean, it is a very, you know, wide gap between them. I mean, we don't even know what Vegeta's going to be capable of and doing in terms of him having to, you know, catch up to Kakarot's new potential power. Uh, but Artemis, what do you think about all this? Do you think you can see Hit going far? Or, like they all said, are we going to see something very unexpected to where Gohan conjures up the power to throw him out or possibly even Vegeta or even someone else from, like, a different universe, perhaps maybe Jiren and having to display how strong he is and able to counter time skip to throw him out? So, like, what are your thoughts on that? Well, I don't think anyone is just going to naturally know how to t counter time skip. Right. Hit. Um, whether it's Gohan, whether it's Jiren, they have to at least experience it once or twice. Um, everyone's know, really yeah. focused. You know, they're saying, oh, because Hit can't kill. Like, like um, I don't think that has that really matters. If Hit can immobilize you and just get you out of the arena, that's the goal. He doesn't he doesn't have to kill you. The guy can probably knows hundreds of other ways to take you down um but then again those other hundred ways just might be killing techniques because that's where his real power is at i mean we saw when he struck a goku once just once in the heart with that one strike that immobilized him that that killed him so with that having to be right. nerfed and removed it's like how well can he really do unless right, they changed rules also, in the end he also used you know pressure point manipulation like, with vegeta yeah 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 like like there's he he managed to defeat vegeta without killing him he kicked vegeta's ass um I think Hit has other techniques that we just haven't seen. Not not techniques, but but more skill in terms of hand-to-hand -hand combat rather than just you relying on killing somebody. I mean, it's been done before. He, yeah, he was he was hold, he was uh, handicapped when he was fighting Goku during the Universe Six versus uh, Seven tournament and everything. But I, I still don't think that he's going to go out too early. I don't think that he's going to end up going super far. But I, I feel like he will be one of the remaining fighters until he's eliminated. He will be eliminated. But um, I don't see people like Gohan, um, Topo, Jiren really learning how to counter that time skip right off experiencing it. 
for the first time. Right, right. They're definitely not. They're, they're, there's no way. If you, you, they don't even know that he's capable of time skip. I mean, Gohan does, but you know they have to experience. Well, Goku does. Time. Gohan doesn't actually. Oh, he, I could have. Yeah, he, Gohan. yeah. No, Gohan's never. In, well, he's never encountered hit one like face to face before, so oh. I don't think he really knows. Right, right. He's never. I, I don't mean. Let me let me rephrase that. I think Gohan knows that Hit has like this time control, but he's never experienced it. The technique, right? Like, it's never been used on it, but he knows that Hit can 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 manipulate the time. Uh, I don't think any of the other other universes know that Hit himself can use time skip. You get what I'm saying? Right, right. They well, actually, know. we have a fifth member in here, that being Roshi. I want to get Roshi's thoughts really fast <laughs> on none other than Hit. So, Roshi, being that you're so old and you're very wise, do you think you can counter uh, Hit's time skip, or do you think you're doomed? Uh, <laughs> well, of course. That, there it was. Yeah. Tournament of power. Uh, I actually have some spoilers. Hit tried to hit me with the time skip. <laughs> I jumped right over him, whipped out my dick, slapped him in the face. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Nice, nice. So there, there, we got it from Roshi there. All right, Roshi, thank you for that. Um, I also wanted to get everyone's quick thoughts on the following. So leadership skills, uh, having to base what we know of right now, we know that the overall you know flagship charge has been changed from Goku to Gohan, and we know that Gohan's going to be lead leading Universe Seven onto victory, or hopefully to victory. Um, but what about Universe Six? I I, I spoke to Emma just very briefly off camera about this, about uh, having Hit as the leader, and how I feel like that kind of contradicts you know his his overall narrative as a Hitman, because Hitmen are always known to be lone wolves. Um, they don't really have any leadership skills, I would say. So, Emish, what are your thoughts on Champa having to rely so much on Hit? Because I still stand on the idea that Hit is going to be the prize fighter of Universe Number Six. Granted, we know based on the spoilers that Kale is supposed to have great potential to where she can lead her team to victory. Um, and the fact that we know that once she transforms, there's a great power that even terrifies her own teammates. But in comparison as a whole, do you see Ciampa relying on Hit the most and, and him having to lead the team to victory as a leader? Or do you think that leadership, uh, you know, just Mark has been left to someone else, like possibly even Kaba per se? What do you think about that? I was going to say exactly what you just said. Uh, I see Kaba being the leader for you. Really? Years. Why, yeah. why Kaba um, over hit? Well, he works. It's not. It's not about over hit. It's just a matter of who is more likely to be able to handle the position. Mm. So, for example, it gives. Okay, one, it gives Kaba a uh, chance to develop. Two, if Gohan can get it, Kaba can get it. Kaba is on the on the elite force right now. He yes, leads yes. a fleet of of warriors and stuff of other saints and stuff like that. Hit can just play long. He doesn't have to go rogue. But hit because he works solo, much like Goku and Vegeta. They work solo. They do better on their in their own. When they're in their own circle, right? right so right, Hit at right. this point has no experience leading anybody. C can he lead people? Yes, he's very wise. He knows how to fight. He's lived for thousands of years, right? Hundreds of thousands of years. Yeah, he's been around for a while, bro. He's, very, yeah, so he's very intelligent. He's very knowledgeable in terms of fighting, but can he lead a squad? I don't personally think so because he prefers to work alone and do his own thing. I see him being um, the muscle behind the team, similar to how Goku and Vegeta are the muscle behind Team Universe 7, and Gohan's the leader. So I see Kaba being the leader for Universe 6, hands down. What about you, Paul? What do you think? Do you see Ciampa having to rely solely on him a lot since they were doing the same thing during Universe 6, or do you see them having to appoint Kaba for his leadership skills? What do you think? I think Kaba is the leadership role here because for the same points that Emish pointed out, he's the leader of like the Saiyans on his planet and stuff like that. So he knows how to deal with this as hits just mainly the lone wolf, and even his fighting style kind of represents that. If anything, th that's the thing, though. With this type of tournament being like a battle royale, his fighting style isn't the best for this because if people start ganging up on him, if, if it even ends up in a 2v1 scenario, is he going to be able to take them on like that? Is his pressure point technique going to really take on more than one enemy? But that's the that's thing, a, though. I, I, I just... question, actually. It, no, it because... is. It is. Can can he time skip more than one person? I think the jabronis, yeah, like Universe 10. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, the fodder. But, yeah, but the yeah, the fodder of the, of the, of the entire squad. But well, what about people like if he encounters the, uh, the pride troopers? I mean, that's going to be very difficult because, again, I think that... In my opinion, and, and I, it sucks to say this because I really enjoy Hit as a character, I think that someone's going to fodder him, and I think that person might be Jiren just to display how powerful he is and what he has to bring to the yeah. table as, as, a, as, a, as a character being introduced. Goku knows, okay, Hit's the problem, wait a minute, whoa, 
someone just tossed them out like it was nothing. So now I have more to worry about here in terms of like, okay, that's the focus right there. And it sucks to say that Hit isn't going to be the focus because as Paul said, he may have had the spotlight already, so they're going to move on. But I also want to go to Artemis. What do you think about this? What do you think about him having to be appointed as like the leader? Because uh, I'm going based off of what Champa said to Vados. He even said, wait a minute, do we have, do, I mean, does Hit have any brothers? Do we have, can we replicate 10 hits? And because he knows like that's his guy. But do you think that that is his guy that he's counting on the most or do you think that that leadership role might be given to someone like Cobb or even someone else um well I think that uh you know hit is probably the star player right but I don't think that he is you know just because he might have the most skill or, or the most experienced the strongest whatever you, you want to point out there um I feel like Kaba has the the skills needed for leadership. It's basically what everyone else said. You know, I think Kaba would be the perfect leader. I don't think that Hit would be leader material. He's an assassin. Uh, he works by himself for himself. He's not the. Uh, he's not. A, he doesn't seem like a people person at all. Right. Um, you know, very quiet, very serious, very stern. Doesn't develop relationships because that that's weakness. Um, not. He's not the type of person to be a leader. Uh, uh, like the other said, Kaba has that that experience with with people, with his race. He's a leader, so it's only right that Kaba himself becomes a leader of of the team. But uh, Champa doesn't see it. You know, he's not looking at it into the, into it that way. He wants Hit to be the leader because obviously of his skill. Um, right. Go, you know, Goku's the strongest in in Universe Seven, uh, but he's he's not the leader because he knows that Gohan. Is very intelligent. Gohan has that potential, um, but they definitely need that's, to make a Kaba. That's they a do. good point. That's a yeah. good point because you know. the thing is, Champa is not like Universe Seven. Like he doesn't, he doesn't have that relationship with his universe the same way Beerus does. Beerus will actually rely on Goku and allow Goku to, you know, see, do what's best. As yeah. to where Champa might be so arrogant, where he says, "I don't care, hit you're the you're the leader because you're the best." Yeah, and that yeah. could be detrimental to the team. That's a great point. Yeah. That's a good point. Now, now my final question to you guys is going up against various fighters. We've seen the time skip used against an opponent one on one, but as Paul pointed out, do you think time skip could actually be uh, very effective in a scenario to where it's possibly two, three, seven, ten on one, whereas opposed to he's fighting one person? So I want to start with Paul. So do you think that time skip? is going to be effective when when having to be grouped up with several people coming at him. Like, for example, if it is going to be Topo Vegeta and, like, several others are going to be targeting him, perhaps. What do you think? See, Hit's an incredibly strong character, but if you look at the Shampa tournament, in a 1v1 situation, that's still ideal for him with his moveset. However, in this situation where more than one person could potentially attack you, this is putting him at a huge detriment, and this could nerf him all the way down there. You don't know how many people are coming at him. You don't know the power levels of these people coming at him. You don't know how fast they are, and maybe some of them might even be strong enough to take him out of that whole time skip mode anyway. Now, with that being said, you said if someone they, they might use him to de demonstrate how powerful someone a new enemy is, yeah. is right? Yeah. That's how it's always been in Dragon Ball Z, and I, unfortunately, I feel like that's what they're going to do here again. He's going to be used to show how powerful everyone else is, and whoever beats him is going to make him look like a baby back bitch. Yeah, that's... that's, that's what, what, do you think, what do you think about that, uh, Amish? I got to say, I don't... Uh, it's possible they could they could handle it that way. I just don't see that happening with Hit directly for some reason. Maybe someone else from another universe who, who happens to be the top dog in their universe. But um, right. to answer the question, I would say that Hit... It would, I think, time skip if it were a lot, for example, this is assuming that it is, which I'm pretty sure, I hope it is at least. If it would make sense that Hit had a certain amount or limit as to how many people he could contain or the strength of the people he could um, hold within his time skip. And, right. and I think the, the good example that we got was when Goku actually shattered the radius of his time skip back when they fought. Yes. The second time. So yeah. that was probably a signal or a sign that. That this is how you could overpower it. So if someone is just overwhelmingly powerful enough, they could actually break that concept and you know manage to defeat it. However, like Artemis said, this is granted that you know how the time skip works. I see Hit not doing what Gohan and everybody else wants to do, which is to focus on the center. I see Hit standing on the outer skirts of the ring, isolating himself from certain warriors. That right. way, I think 
in that perspective, he could do a better job in terms of fighting a three on one, for example. Because if he's away from all the drama, he'll be there'll be no problem for him. So he, but the he's minute the one he gets dragged in. in. Right. So the mi- exactly the minute he gets dragged into that circle where it's crowded, I think then he's gonna have a hard time. In that scenario, I would definitely agree with Paul on that in that scenario. Artemis, what do you think about this? In a in a group like scenario, do you see Hit's time skip being effective? Uh, well, I mean, we've seen Hit use time skip on large groups before, uh, or several people at a time. Is what I'm saying. Right against the mobsters, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, they're not. They're obviously fodder. They're not. They're not even like very fodder. Not, yeah. Yeah, very fodder. Not not even Piccolo or anything like like far from it. But yeah. the fact that he can use it on multiple people. If if you think of it from a perspective situation, if Hit's using time skip on Goku. And the others don't notice the time skip. Obviously, they're in the time skip as well. You get what I'm saying? Right. Everything just happens instantaneously. You know, the the time skip obviously is either it's it's on a on a universal level where it happens and he, he enters his own dimension and this happens universally, or it's it's a, to a certain radius and a certain um, length like uh, around him, or around his body that he can right. use this for. Um, we don't know how it works. We don't. Um, but I do know that you can have multiple people within it. So if there's a situation where Hit is being attacked by several people, the time skip doesn't really have to only be used offensively. It can be used defensively as well. He can use it to es- escape his situation, alter his situation, take a, take a minute to, to utilize uh, what options he has, take a good look at his surroundings. Like, it's... It's hit. He's intelligent. You know, he he's not an idiot. I, right. I, I want I want people to understand that you can't underestimate him. I'm not I'm not really um, thinking that he's gonna go all the way to the end, but I feel like hit is definitely a threat. He's a threat. He's the strongest fighter in within that that team. In, in my you know in my opinion, um, I feel like hit is a threat, and I don't I don't think anyone should take him lightly. Anyone. He, even though they have strong fighters, I don't think that Goku is going to go engage Hit. I feel like Goku is more focused on on the uh, the Pride Troopers. To be honest, um, I feel like he's he's super pumped about Jiren. So I, I don't see Goku right off the bat going to to Hit or Hit going to Goku. I don't think that's going to happen. I think it's uh, I think it was Paul who said that, or, or Emish. One of you guys said that he was going to be at the edge of the arena. Avoiding, yeah, yeah waiting, yeah. yeah, waiting, yeah, waiting. I th- hit is a like I said before, very intelligent. He's probably going to have a strategy. Oh, he's course, not going to yeah. go in there, you know. He's not going to go in there without a plan. But before you you pull off an ass- assassination, you have a plan. Your escape route, of everything. Course, yeah, especially hit, with seventy others. It's oh hell yeah, with seventy other people. Hit has this in the back. He probably know. He's probably fifty steps ahead of uh, knowing of what he's going to do during what situation. But they're obviously it, it's Dragon Ball. We're gonna see things happen. It's we have to see how the time skip will work and how he's gonna utilize that skill to his advantage. So that's that's all I gotta say. And what I've noticed in this entire discussion so far is I don't think anyone has ever referenced Hit actually being able to be the one to win it all. Which in fact goes to show like it, this might be a setup to where either Hit's gonna be used to be you know a fodder to someone else, or at a certain point they may actually surprise us. To the point where, at some point, it may come down to hit Jiren, Goku, and several others, like in the finale, and then maybe he gets thrown out. But I, I think that hit may be used as a toss-up to where someone else is displayed. For example, like Jiren, because you you have to take into account that. Goku requested Hit for a specific reason, and that's to see how powerful he was with the killing ability, and in which he was, even though the episode was BS, I think that it displayed how strong Hit was, and and being able to kill someone, which is one hit, even as strong as Super Saiyan Blue, but now, since that's been revoked, and you can't really kill people, the question is, can he still, you know, hold his own against Goku now, who's improved vastly more ever since, and plus having this new form, or technique, whatever it is that he has, is gonna be, um, very interesting to see if he can actually, you know, work his way around that. But if he if he does, I think it'll shock not just myself but everyone in here. But post your comments down below, guys. What are your overall thoughts on Hit? What is his role? How far do you think he's gonna go? And if you guys think that his move set and his skills, even with with or without time skip, is it going to be as effective? Um, I don't think honestly it'll be as effective. Uh, without time skip because without time skip I can see him being very vulnerable but with time skip intact and him having to fight fighters like Jiren that gives him a huge 
window of opportunity to continuously improve. But post your comments down below, guys. Thank you all for watching. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Leave a like down below if you guys enjoyed it. Also, I want to thank my guests, Devil Artemis, Amish is Live, and of course, <clears throat> Super Saiyan Paul. You guys can go on ahead and check their channels out down below. I will link them down below. Subscribe to them as well. Boys, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys have a great night. Thank you all for watching, and we'll be seeing you all down in the comment section below. Have a great night, guys. Peace.